Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Lab 8 Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 105. Inside this video, we will see email verification concept using Jetstream authentication package. Inside last two videos, we had seen the same concept like email verification, but on those videos, we have used all about Brace authentication. So if I back to browser, go inside this blogging website, click on blog, click on search icon and here if I type let's say Jetstream, pressing enter. So inside this blogging website, here we have a article called Level 8 Authentication using Jetstream with Inertia Chase. If I scroll down, here we have Level 8 Authentication using Jetstream with Leafwire. So we can use any of the article to proceed with the Jetstream authentication. So inside this video, we will use the concept of authentication using Jetstream with Leafwire. So simply, I am click on this article. This article is totally from scratch. It means starting from installation up to application testing. So what we want from this video? If I back to editor, means slide. So we want first of all to set a Laravel setup plus we want to include Jetstream auth package. We are going to install our auth scaffolding. Now next we will integrate all about email verification. But inside this case it is different from last two videos because this time we will use Jetstream package. And inside Jetstream, we will use Leafwire. So first of all, we want our Laravel setup. Back to blog article. So inside this article, if I scroll down, so here we have a composer command. So what I will do simply, I will copy this composer command. By the help of that command, actually, we are going to create a Laravel setup. Back to terminal. So currently, we are inside this Laravel folder, pasting this command. And I will create, let's say, Laravel hyphen jet. Pressing enter. It will take some time because, as we can see, installation is in progress. So, for the time being, let's create a database. So, if I back to browser, go inside phpMyAdmin, and let's say Laravel underscore jet. Pressing enter. Back to terminal. So successfully now the installation has been installed. If I back to folder structure, here is the folder. So I will open this project into VS Code Editor. So simply select that project and I am opening into VS Code. And successfully as we can see that project has been now imported. So first of all we need to do database connection. Go inside this .env file. Scroll down here we have the DB connections. So for the database, here we have Laravel underscore jet. In my case, for my system, the username is password for phpMyAdmin admin and password is something admin at rate 123. Now next, as we know that we will work with the email settings, it means email verification. So we want to set up all about first SMTP configuration. So to set SMTP configuration, here we have all about the variables and all about SMT, SMTP configuration we had discussed inside last videos. So please check those videos all about this SMTP configurations. Now next, we need to install our Jetstream package. So if I scroll down, here as you can see that inside this article, we have install Jetstream section. So inside this section, as we can see here we have a composer command. So simply copy this command back to terminal. And before installation, we need to go inside our setup, what we have downloaded. So it will be level hyphen jet. And inside this, I am simply pasting this command and pressing enter. And as we can see that installation is in progress. And successfully, the Jetstream now installed in our Laravel setup. Back to article. So in the next step, we need to create auth with Leafwire. So here is the command. I will copy this command back to terminal again. Clear this console first. 
pasting this command, pressing enter. So here as you can see that migration created successfully and also it has updated all about our composer.json file and all the needed things now completed. So in the next, we need to run npm install as well as npm run dev command. So simply, I will copy this command. By the help of this command, actually we are going to install some packages by the help of npm as well as we are going to bootstrap or compile our application. So simply copy this command called npm install and npm run dev. Pasting it here, press enter. So successfully as you can see that all the processes now completed. If I back to browser, so first let's start our development server. This is the command we have executed and one more thing is that while installation of this setup and authentication, first of all we need to migrate some migrations. If I go inside this database folder, migrations, as we can see that we have here few migration files. Back to terminal, what I will do, we need to use php artisan migrate command. By the help of this command, actually, we are going to run our pending migrations. So if I press enter, this command is going to create some tables inside our database. Migration done. So if I back to browser, go inside our database, reload this structure. And as we can see that all the tables now successfully migrated. If I back to folder structure, back to terminal, let's start our development server. So PHP, artisan serve, pressing enter. We need to open all about this URL. So click on this open link. Now as we can see that we have now all our well set up. Here we have two links called login and register. So if we click on login, here we have the login page. If we go inside this register, here we have the registration process. So let's do some our like sample dummy registration. So test, let's say test at gmail.com. Password is from one to eight. Now when we click on this register button, Successfully as we can see that the user has been registered, back to table, click on users. So right now the, this is a dummy entry of that user what we have created and inside this email verify at it is a null value. And one more thing is that while registration process, we didn't get any email verification process. Now the task is how can we enable our email verification process for this Jetstream authentication. So there is a very simple steps. So first of all, go inside Google, type email verification Laravel, click on this documentation link, it means official website. Here we have like seventh version we want for the Laravel 8. So either we can select here version 8.x, go here, Inside this section called model preparation, we need to copy this implements must verify email. So I will copy that, go inside editor, app, models, user.php. So right now, there is no line added. It means the thing what we have copied is not available. So simply copy that thing and pasting it here like user extends authenticable implements must verify email. So after adding this, now next we need to go inside our routes folder. Not inside routes folder, we need to go inside our config folder. So go inside config and after installation of Jetstream and LeapWire package, we should see a file called fortify.php inside this config folder. So if I open this file, now inside this file, at the last means at the photo, we should see we have a features array. Inside this array, we have some lines of code. 
this is all about enabling our Jetstream with LiveWire authentication routes. So as we can see that by default features email verification line is commented. So what we have to do simply to enable email verification process in case of Jetstream we need to only uncomment this line. All we have done. If I back to browser Let's log out this user, click on register, sample, here we have sample at melnita.com and this is the email address what we have opened here and let's put some dummy password for this user. When I click on this register button, And as we can see that automatically we are getting a email verify process and this is because we have enabled the feature of email verification in this case of Jetstream with LeafWire. Now if I back to Melnitor, as we can see we are getting this email just now if I clicking it here. Either we can click on this button or simply on this link. So I will click on this button. again back to mail and what I will do simply I will click on this link open into a new tab. Now as you can see that our email has been now verified. If I back to our database, reload this structure means data and this is the email what we have registered and email is verified at this time period. So successfully guys this is the process and let's say that if we go this is the dashboard what we got after email verified. Let's click on logout, register button and let's register a new user and for this user we are not going to verify email. Click on register. Email has been sent to that user so before verifying if we want to open dashboard page for this user and as we can see that we are not able to open that dashboard route and this is because those routes are protected routes. So what are the steps actually we have to follow to enable email verification inside Jetstream? Very very, very few simple steps. First of all we had done the setup of Laravel then we had installed a Jetstream after installation of Jetstream, we had done the installation of LeafWire. After enabling LeafWire, after getting all the features, features of authentication scaffolding, we had done the database connection as well as SMTP configuration. And then go inside config folder inside fortify.php and only the thing we need to do is all about remove the comment line. So successfully guys by the help of this video and last two videos now we have the complete concept of email verification process in Laravel. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.